We're in Windows 10. I'm going to show you the control panel. So there's lots of different ways to get there. One way is to add the desktop icon. Another way is to just click on the start button and type in control panel. Hit enter. And we can, if we want, once it's open, we can right click and we can pin it to the taskbar. All right, so now we are in the control panel. We can go to the category view if you'd like. Uh, I particularly like the large icon view, although small icons is also available. So we can go ahead and expand that. And we've got a lot of different things in here. We've got the Action Center where we can uh, set up security, do maintenance. Uh, we've got Administrative Tools. That is the traditional view for things like Event Viewer and Disk Cleanup and things like that. Uh, autoplay, decide whether or not you want, uh, if you put a DVD in, whether to autoplay or other autoplay options. You can encrypt the drive right from BitLocker. Instead of having to install it as uh, an option, it's already there. Uh, you've got color management, credential manager, device manager. Let's take a look at that. And that looks just like we remember it. Any unknown devices will show up there. And if we want, we can expand the various different things. So we've got home group if you decide you want to have um, a home group uh, instead of a, an Active Directory network that way you can share files. Uh, file history to see what files you've opened uh, recently and we haven't opened anything yet, it's a brand new installation. Family safety filter allows you to turn on security so you uh, don't end up having kids go to places you don't want them to. You have to set up a child account first uh, network and Sharing Center, Notifications, Pen and Touch if you have that, Power Options, Programs and Features. So uh, lots of different things here. One of the new ones here is Work Folders. We can set up a work folder, make your work files available on all devices, even when offline. So this will actually link you uh, back to a OneDrive uh, type of a setup. And you just have to install this application on the other ones, and then you'll be able to see your data no matter where you are. Windows to go, uh, they, that came out in uh, Windows 8, uh, but uh, this, this is also available. It comes pre-installed. Make sure USB drive meets the hardware requirements. So basically, you just put your USB drive in there, and you can have your uh, Windows to go files in there. User accounts allows you to set up new users. Windows Defender is the new antivirus, uh, since you no longer, they no longer use the, the old... Uh, system program that you uh, uh, essentials that you would have to install it's now which windows defender speech recognition remote app and desktop connections um, it used to be just remote desktop connections so remote app is definitely uh, something that's new you'd have to have a server to connect to that personalization phone and modems a lot of these are the same but there are a few new things that i've pointed out uh, flash players automatically installed now as well instead of having to go in and do that manually. Uh, so that is the control panel in the Windows 10 operating system.